Take both taste tours back. This is a very. <laughs> what was that? This is a very close to home beer to me. I am. Well, I'm not from Jamaica, but. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> It was popularized. <laughs> what the hell are you doing? It was popularized in America by Tom Cruise. He drank it in the movie The Firm, and after that movie, he was like obviously he was the biggest movie star in the world at that point. Not so much anymore, but no. uh, at that point he was. And anything. He's got Tom some other Cruise, things going on. Now. <laughs> yeah, some, some funny stuff. Yeah. But uh, um, but he drank this uh, throughout the movie The Firm, and uh, they started bring, putting it in Seven Eleven and everything, and it's been a part of American culture ever since. Yeah. But tell us about uh, your experiences in Jamaica. Yeah. Where are you um, from? Okay. I, I, uh, I, I've traveled I to Jamaica. I, I and I. Yeah, he's, he's been there. Um, he's, I and I have traveled. Uh, basically, basically I, I've just been to the week in Jamaica, just doing the all-inclusive resort thing. A lot of people do it. Yeah. It's really cool, really fun. Anybody gets a chance to do it. And this, so we decided to taste, not only because this beer is popular, but because um, it's an important lager and it also just has good memories for me. So I hope my rating's not biased. Here's the uh, description. For over 80 years, Red Stripe Lager has embodied the spirit, rhythm, and pulse of Jamaica and its people. Just, uh... And, and I can tell you... He's reggaeing. And, and, and I'll tell you, no matter, no matter what... Really, no matter what rating we give this here, it's the sort of beer that... It, I mean, certainly, you know, not the best, most well-crafted lager in the world, whatever, but when you're sitting on that beach in Jamaica, the red stripe really hits the spot. Oh, yeah. All right, red stripe lager. Tastes like a lager beer. It's got that... The island beers and a lot of like the um, the, trop the the tropical area beers, and I've often hypothesized that it's because of the water that's in tropical areas, but they all, almost always have that sweetness to them. Mm -hmm. I like, like this beer a lot. I get I get this beer from Seven Eleven. Yeah, actually. Actually, um, yeah I'll pay the extra like money to get yeah. this instead of like I mean they don't use that very good selection at Seven Eleven, but, yeah. but they do have this. Yeah, and a lot of other and, and a lot of other convenience stores, and uh, I'll, I'll sometimes I'll sometimes uh, splurge a little bit and get it, and I'm never disappointed. No. It's not supposed to be anything incredibly Special, fancy yeah. or unique, but it is like it's a it's a very good beer. It really is very crisp, very refreshing, uh, very light. Like I said, you could drink Great tons of them. Like this. I um, yeah. I mean, it, it, anytime it's hot out, you could just sit there and drink it pretty much all night long. Great session like that. Um, it's it, kind of like I was saying. It's got that like equatorial sort of, um, and and I'm like for example, tiger beer. Have we all had tiger beer here? Yep. What the hell are you doing? <laughs> You've yeah. had Tiger Beer. You know that sweetness I'm talking about in Tiger Beer? Mm -hmm. It's got that sort of thing. Yeah. yeah. So, like, I, I, it's my hypothesis that in those in those equatorial regions, something about the water that they use or whatever has just, I, I don't know, maybe something in it particularly that produces a sweeter beer. Or maybe they like them sweeter. Maybe Do they, I mean, I mean, what kind of water are they using? Are they using filtered water? Are they using the spring water? I mean, who knows? <laughs> the... the the point is, most equatorial <laughs> beers, most tropical beers, are have that hint of sweetness to them. Most Caribbean beers do. Most of the uh, like Malaysian beers and, and uh, Singapore beer, all those kind of things. So, anyways, as far as the red stripe rating goes, for what it is, I mean, it deserves a seven and a half for me. It'd be interesting to know. Well, I'd, I'd say, it, yeah, I'm gonna I, give I, it a six and a half. I'm gonna give it a seven, a, uh, I'm give it a seven and a half. I, yeah. I really like this beer. I get this. I buy this beer a lot. I like it. It would be interesting to know, though, like about. Uh, I'd like to look to read more about the water, um, about specifically where they're getting the water, and is it, is it, you know, you know, the source? Because uh, what I've heard about, like uh, down in the tropical areas, the water was was very, very old. It's been it's been under there for so long, buried under so much rock, that it's, it has a purity that you don't find in other parts of the world. It's really like, like the sweetest, like, and like greatest water, water you could water. ever. <laughs> <laughs> it, it could be. It could that be. That's ancient water, and it's like. It, I mean, you would think that, that means it's going to be rancid, uh -huh. but <laughs> it's actually from a source that's very, very ancient. So it's pure. It's pure. It could be a much more simple notion in the fact that well, it's the in fountain of youth. We don't know. 
It could be a much more simple notion the fact that, well, tropical regions are hot. They like a little bit of sweetness to their beer, and that's why they brew it. You never, you just, I'm not really positive on the matter. I'd really like to research it more. So, that's Red for. 7.5, 7.5, 6.5. It's a solid lager. If you're ever, it's a hot summer day, and you have a chance to get Red Stripe tried out from Jamaica, brewed in Kingston. Uh, we'll be back with more shortly.